Okay, hi there, welcome to Synoptic Test 4. Here are five macroeconomic multiple choice revision questions to help you check your macroeconomic understanding ahead of synoptic papers. Here's question one. An economy has three leakages from the circular flow. The marginal propensity to save is 0 0.15, the propensity to import is 0 0.25, and the marginal rate of tax is 0 0.4. Government spending increases by £200 million. What will be the final change in national income? Please have a go at this question. Press the pause button and just press play when you want the answer. So this is a question about the multiplier. Uh, we need to work out the coefficient of the multiplier, the value of the multiplier, given the information. The answer is C, £250 million. The multiplier is 1 over the sum of the leakages. In this case, there are three leakages from the circular flow. Savings taxation and imports. If you add those together, they add, to, add up to 0 0.8. Therefore, the multiplier is 1 over 0 0.8, which equals 1.25. If government spending rises by £200 million, the final change in national income will be £200 million times by the multiplier 1.25, which equals 250. OK, let's move on to question two country's nominal or money GDP in 2015 was 500 billion dollars the nominal growth rate of GDP in 2016 was eight percent whilst the whilst the price index increased from 100 to 104 using this data what was real what was real GDP in 2016 at 2015 prices have a go at this question please press the pause button OK, so this is a real GDP calculation. We first of all need to know what the nominal level of GDP was, then divide by the price index, the GDP deflator. And the correct answer is D. Real GDP is nominal GDP times by 100 over the price index. We're told that nominal GDP is increased by 8%, while that's an increase of 40 billion, taking it up to 540. The price index has gone up from 100 to 104. There was 4% 4 inflation. Therefore, the real GDP is 540 times by 100, but divided by 104. That's the getting rid of the inflation bit, which comes to $519 billion uh, if you round down. Here's question three. Two countries are involved in the production of solar panels and coffee. If they decide, each of them, to use half of their resources on production of each of the products, then they will produce the quantities shown in the blue table here. Which of the following in the orange tables represents the total output of each good, solar panels and coffee, if both countries fully exploited their comparative advantage? Calculation question here. Take a moment to press the pause button and have a go at the question. The key to this is to work out which country has a relative comparative advantage in each product. And we're told they're going to fully specialise. So the correct answer here? Well, the correct answer is C. Country X, well, let's think about it. Country X has the absolute advantage. It can produce more solar panels and more coffee. <clears throat> but actually, Country X has the comparative advantage in coffee. It's five times as good as Country Y. It's not even close to being five times as good in solar panels. So X has the advantage in coffee. Y has the comparative advantage in solar panels. Assuming constant returns to scale, each country can double the initial output. So country X can double up to 200,000 units of coffee. Country Y can double up to 12 times 2, 24,000 solar panels. So the right answer here is C. Two more calculation questions to come. 10-year government bond with a nominal value of £2,000 has a coupon, the interest, of £80. That's the interest per year. Which of these figures shows the correct percentage yield per year if the bond is subsequently sold for £1,600? Press the pause button, please. Have a go at question four. So the coupon is the yield... Uh, so the coupon is the interest. The yield, of course, is the coupon divided by the market price of the bond. The correct answer to question four is B. The yield as a percentage is the coupon divided by the market price of the bond expressed as a percentage. Of course, the coupon is fixed. That's going to stay at £80. 
fixed interest security. If the market price of the bond falls to sixteen hundred pounds, then AT over sixteen hundred is a, is a yield of five percent. Answer is B. Here's our final question in this little set. Question five: Calculate the United States' terms of trade index for industrial supplies and materials in December two thousand and eighteen from the following information. You're given some data on the index of import prices and some data on an index of export prices. So what was the United States terms of trade in that month? Have a go at question five, please. So the terms of trade uh, is one that confuses some students. It's the index of export prices divided by the index of import prices. Export prices divided by import prices. Therefore, the correct answer is D. If you take 156.1, divide by 181.3, you get 0 0.86 to two decimal places. There we go, five macro calculation questions.